Hello everyone, my name is Kimberly and I am the sales and marketing coach. I help individuals, brands and companies to excel in sales and marketing, achieve their marketing goals and objectives and also get huge returns on their investment by simplifying marketing techniques. Today, I'm going to be continuing from my last class which was focused on the types of marketing. Last week, I was able to talk about two major forms of marketing which is traditional marketing and digital marketing. Then I went further to break down digital marketing by talking about search engine marketing. Today, however, I am going to be focusing on two types of digital marketing. I'm continuing from my last class, like I told you. Last class, I made you understand that digital marketing had various subdivisions. Today, I'm going to be focusing on first, content marketing, and second, social media marketing. So stick with me. Content marketing is a key ingredient in digital marketing because content is what allows audiences and search engines such as Google to find information that it needs on the web. For every content that you put out there, there is a keyword embedded. So your potential customers are going to search for something and they might find it in the content that you put out. That is why it is important that as a business owner, you are very conscious of the content that you put out there. And that's why I started by saying that content marketing is an essential part of digital marketing. What is content marketing? This is a type or kind of marketing that involves the creation and sharing of online material, which could be blog posts, social media posts, or videos. This is not intended to directly promote a brand or a company, but simply to stimulate interest in their product or service by their potential customers. A very crucial part of content marketing is social media because these days, every brand, literally every brand advertises their content on social media. So as easy and as simple as content marketing might sound, it is not actually an easy thing to creatively come up with content that will spark up interest in the minds of your potential customers. Now, I have a class on how to write good content. That's not a free class. So if you're interested, if you watch this video, make sure that you drop um, a comment letting me know that you are interested in that class and I would definitely send you a mail. So moving forward, let's say um you own a skincare brand for instance how do you put out content that will spark up interest in the minds of your customers the first thing to do is to do a market research find out frequently asked questions by people who are searching for skincare products some of those questions might be the, am i going to react to the product how fast does it work um how many days do i have to use the product to see effect uh do i get is there a money back guarantee all of those questions if you are able to search through the web or look at other products and see what people are asking for it will be easy for you to put out the content that would attract your potential customers because if i make inquiries as a skincare brand owner and i find out that people want to know how fast um they are going to see effect after using a product Part of what is going to be my content is um, I'll, I'll come up with something like a uh, quick action or um, two days you see your I'm trying to find the best way to put it right now. Uh, you Okay, I might put something like uh, uh, results as fast as two days. That alone might spark up the interest of a potential customer to be like, oh, okay. This product says two days and I mean, I'm looking for fast results, right? So definitely I would click to find out how to get this product. So these are essential things that you need to find out before you put out content. And like I said, I have a class on how to write excellent content. So make sure you sign up for that class and I promise you, you will not regret it. The goal of content marketing is to help your audience along their buyer's journey. And earlier, if you remember, I said, in every content that you put out, there is a keyword embedded. So let's say I randomly just put out a content saying 100% uh, money back guarantee if you use this skincare product. And then a random stranger goes on Google and types in something like skincare product, 100% money back guarantee. 
so the fact that there was money back guarantee it's a reason why my content that I put up as a business owner is going to probably come up amongst the products that have been searched for. So it is important, like I said earlier, as a business owner, that you pay attention to the content that you put out because there are times that your potential buyers might, might search out something and find out that the content that you put out is totally irrelevant to what they are looking for. That's why I told you that it is very, very important and crucial that you do conduct a, ma a market research to know what your customers are looking for so that you use that to create an effective content so that when you put it out there, you definitely are reaching your target audience. So moving forward to social media marketing. What is social media marketing? It is literally a kind of marketing that every company or brand is currently practicing. It involves the creation of content, basically to share on social media platforms to promote your product or business. Some of the social media platforms could be Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, and you know, the rest of them that are out there. Now, this is a trick. It is important to note that absolutely nobody goes on social media to buy anything like i would not log on facebook because i want to buy a dress so as a business owner a few things for you to take into consideration when you're putting out content on social media is it has to be informative compelling entertaining um what else it has to be something that really has to catch your audience that when they're scrolling through their feel they could just you know okay let me go further to check this so let's say for instance i own um i own something like a, a jewelry store i would definitely get my audience with 50 percent discount i mean we like free stuff nobody doesn't like free stuff so as long as i'm scrolling through my social media platform and i see something like 50 percent off first purchase i'm like okay let me check this stuff out and I will click it as a potential customer, which I didn't even know that I was, but I was scrolling through social media and I saw, I mean, free stuff and I just click on it. Or um, I could put something like 100% um, money back guarantee or uh, basically something really catchy that sparks up interest in the minds of whoever sees it so it is important to note as a business owner that people would not naturally log on to social media to buy products so you have to put out content that is enticing enough to people that you would want to purchase your product that's why recently i see a lot of um, social media posts and i really find that interesting that a lot of companies are beginning to infuse comedy or entertainment in marketing their products it's really effective these days so basically that's what social media marketing is all about something else to note when doing social media marketing is your unique content has to be specific to the social media platform that you intend to share it on so as to be able to help you boost your reach now it is no more news that Facebook and Instagram are connected. So the same ads, you could run an advert for social media, for Facebook and Instagram simultaneously. But not this, the same product you're trying to adv advertise on both uh, Instagram and Facebook would definitely not have the same post because for starters, there are certain things that attract people on Instagram that are not the same things that attract people on Facebook. A, a long post to probably sell on Inst on Facebook, definitely not on Instagram. Now, I'm not going to go too far on this. I have a class on social media marketing and you should sign up for that class. I really hope that you enjoyed this class today and it was informative enough. And if you watch this video to this point, make sure you leave me a comment. I'm always excited to hear comments from everybody that has um, that gets to watch my classes. So make sure you drop me a comment and be sure to share this with someone that you think might need it. And don't forget to subscribe for, to my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day and see you in class next week.